Hi there. It's Tuesday morning. Welcome. I'm Sharon Taylor. I serve as pastor at St. Peter Lutheran Church, and we're located in Fort Myers Beach, Florida. That's uh, beautiful southwest Florida. And uh, it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day out there today. I think we're supposed to get up into the high 90s today. So we are coming to you with blessings on the beach. It's our way to uh, help you have some kind of spiritual discipline for the day and to take a little time to ground yourself in God this morning. A little bit of solitude, a little bit of silence, a little bit of prayer. So um, I don't know about you, but usually by this time in March and also this time in Lent, um, I seem to feel tired and I seem to feel like I've been actually walking through the wilderness. You know, we talk about walking through the wilderness with Christ or walking to Jerusalem to the cross, this time of Lent when we're observing the passion of Christ, um, but also that we're just dealing with and reflecting on our own struggles. And there's obviously so much struggle in the world right now. There's so much painful energy that's circulating everywhere in our world. And we're especially remembering those who are dealing with war right now and not just Ukraine. Of course, we have Ukrainians at the front of our minds, but also remembering those around the world who suffer all the time that may not get the same kind of coverage and um, also those who um, are struggling with oppression and struggling with racism on a daily basis. And so we lift up those who are struggling as we ourselves struggle with our daily um, challenges that uh, there really is no comparing each other's suffering or challenges. Every person's suffering is important and um, to be able to be in solidarity with those who suffer. So I know that as I'm tired during Lent, that it's no comparison to what some people are dealing with in the world, but my struggle is important as well, and yours will be as well for however you're feeling each day. So as we um, walk through Lent and we're still heading towards the resurrection of Christ, we're also um, trying to remember in the midst of our struggles to have gratitude in all circumstances, to be able to look around and be thankful. So just to take a moment this morning to come up with three gratitudes. What are you grateful for today? And it may be something that you haven't thought about in a while that you take for granted, something for which you are grateful today. So let's just take a moment to reflect on that. And while we're thinking about our gratitudes, we can just breathe deeply in through our nose, all the way to the top of the inhalation, and then exhale through our mouth, taking in that new fresh air of the new day in through your nose cool air coming in to refresh our bodies, our minds, our spirits, and then exhale, exhaling everything that no longer serves us, everything that was sitting there overnight that's stale, that energy that's built up inside of us that is not helpful to our well-being. We breathe that out. Again, we breathe in. We breathe out. As you breathe in next time, breathe in thinking of that gratitude. And breathe out that thanks to God for that blessing. Your second gratitude as you breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. last time through your third gratitude. Feeling that in your body, that thankfulness, and then breathing out thanks to God. Thanks to the source of life who restores us each day and gives us a new beginning and a new chance every morning. So today, um, 
we have a prayer of strength from Joyce Rupp. And the, the verse is Psalm 62, 1a and 2. For God alone, my soul waits in silence. God alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress. I shall never be shaken. Let us pray. Rock and refuge, stronghold of souls, unshakable one. Infuse your strength into the places where I feel the greatest weakness. Permeate the parts of my life that continually challenge my patience. Increase an ability to accept those who seem to be most unacceptable. Lessen any tendency in my spirit that gives way to a loss of hope. Reinforce an awareness of the daily manifestations of your presence. Boost my spirit when I think I cannot manage what is mine to be and do. Provider of purpose, firm foundation, enduring love, support my determination to give the best of myself to others. Fortify the forgiveness you have placed and nurtured in my heart. Sustain a solid belief that I can get through what appears insurmountable. Bolster my efforts to be a person who reaches out to those who suffer. Foster greater trust in you when worries and anxieties attempt to prevail. Impart the courage I need to change what appears to be unchangeable. In you, O Holy One, I find sufficient strength abounding love, and secure serenity. One last time. In you, O Holy One, I find sufficient strength, abounding love, and secure serenity. Take a breath in again through our nose. Breathing in love. Breathing out that love back out to the world. Breathing in God's beautiful love and presence. Breathing out that love and presence to others. May you have a day today that is filled with the presence of God. May you look around and see signs of God's love and mercy and forgiveness and particularly strength in these days, in these difficult days of Lent, in these difficult days in the world. May God give you glimpses of joy and hope in believing. I hope that you have a good day, and I will see you back on Thursday. Thanks so much for joining me.